to Mississauga Creates. I'm Angela Chow, and I'll be chatting with local creatives, showcasing the many talents in my community, Mississauga. Today, we are joined by the very talented, award-winning, soulful, and captivating singer, Heather Christine. Hi, Heather. Oh, hey, guys. Tell me a little bit about yourself. We want to know. Oh, my goodness. Well, where to start? Um, I'm a local singer, songwriter, um, musician, uh, artist, an arts and cultural worker here from the city of Mississauga. And it's my joy to create music with my husband, Matt Zadkovich. Um, Matt Zadkovich, you will know him as. And uh, yeah, I do this professionally and happy to be celebrating, I don't want to say it, but it's close to 20 years now as a professional artist. So I'm really grateful to be um, living and working here in our beautiful city of Mississauga. How long have you been creating and what is your creative process? I've been creating oh, my whole life since I was a small child. Um, and primarily, I would say music is my primary art form, uh, but I've also dabbled along the way in fashion. I used to work as a seamstress and professional pattern maker for a few different designers. Um, so I've done a bit of that, but generally music and songwriting is my uh, area. Um, along the way, I did work professionally in music theater in Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. I got this beauty out while cleaning in the house. But I, I've done a lot of uh, professional music theater, uh, dancing in musicals at Canada's Wonderland when I was a kid, and downtown at uh, uh, the Elgin Theater and Joseph and different shows and Stage West Canada. But then um, just as time has gone on, I've uh, worked more primarily as a professional singer and songwriter. And last year, in 2019, I released my very first debut record of my own songs called Love and Color which was a, a wonderful thing and it went on to um, you know, get a nomination for a Mississauga Music Award and it's got some international recognition from people in Spain and Boston and here in Canada so I'm really grateful for that. What is your inspiration and who are your influence? Oh my gosh, what is my inspiration? Well, I just, I have a soul that always wants to sing and to communicate and to express so that is my soul in this world so whether that's through journaling whether that's through uh, writing songs writing poetry talking to friends talking to artists or, or using social media that is like my soul's like mo that's what i have to do so i always find that i follow that i don't ever like stop that inner prompting to express myself and to sing so generally that is what inspires me to work as an artist and it just feels incredible to sing, like the actual art of just singing and feeling the vibration of the voice in your body is so good. And even studies have shown how it has so many good benefits for people to sing alone or to sing in a group with other people. So I've been doing a lot of vocal teaching while we've been on this corona lockdown. And it's just incredible to share the art of singing and beautiful singing with other people. Um, and it, you asked me who some of my biggest inspirations are. I would say I'm inspired by a lot of Dynamo uh, female performers. So one of the artists I love the most is Bob Streisand, of course. And it's so funny while I was um, on, I've been doing a lot of cleaning while I've been on the corona lockdown. And I came across one of her autobiographies that I have as well. So, of course, I love Barbara or, you know, Gloria Stefan, I love, or Ella Fitzgerald is an incredible uh, singer-songwriter. Um, I also love the Beatles, Sting, Bob Marley. So, yeah, I'd say those are my uh, big inspirations musically. So, what has helped you get through these tough times during this pandemic while we're in self-isolation? For sure. Well, I'd say for me, I'm a big person that thrives on routine. So, that is something I think I definitely inherited from my father. So. I, it feels good for me to like wake up every day at the same time. Even though I don't like it, I know it's good for me. So every day, pretty much, I wake up at 7.30. Um, I, you know, get dressed no matter what, and I go for a walk. For me, that does so much for me, just for my mental well-being and my outlook. Just getting outside and going for a walk in my community, it feels so good. And this is all that has so many great paths and different uh, places to walk. So I try to walk every day in a different like different path to see different things and it's so funny I feel like I'm enjoying the spring more than I ever have like every morning I come out and I see the different you know tulips or daffodils that are blooming and I hear the birds chir chirping and the buds are coming up on the trees and it's just so beautiful to actually have the time right now to enjoy that so uh, that has really helped me I still am working part-time 
uh, for my employer. So I have a part-time job. So I'll do maybe a few hours of that every day. Then I will meditate and then I will get into my creative process for the evening, for my own solo efforts and my own artistic practice. Following that routine has been really, really good. It's been taking me a while to find my groove. So I feel that now that we've done this for three weeks and I found my new groove, I'm, I feel myself going into a writing phase. So I think I'll start to journal more. I've had a few different uh, songwriting sessions with my husband, but I feel that now that this is kind of, we know this is something we're going to be dealing with for the, for the next few months. I think that I know I can go a bit deeper with my practice and I'm actually really grateful for that. So I'm excited for what's to come. Have you created anything during this pandemic? Have you written anything? Yeah, so I have. So my husband and I, we've been doing little short videos video clips just of songs on a Friday just as a weekly basis because we love to perform and so we don't want to stop we just have that like inner urge to keep um, communicating and performing so we've been doing that and we've actually started to write some, some new material so we have one song that we've actually written um that we're just waiting to finish I've had some other songs that have, come, have been coming to me so definitely uh that's the first like new song that I've written during this period but I've also been doing a uh, little creative activities every day and breaking it down. Like I get overwhelmed easily. So my husband had some good advice to me the other day. He said, just try to do like one thing a day. So I've been doing that and it really helps. So whether that's like updating my website, my artist website, or whether that is, you know, uh, finishing a submission uh, for an artist submission, just taking it step by step. Um, I've been doing that, but other um, creative things that I've done, I've been uh, sewing, I've been making a lot of masks. Um, I've been, you know, working on my gallery walls in my home. I've been fixing projects I've never had time to do ever before. I've been doing a lot of cooking, a lot of baking, so, and, and teaching, which is new for me. And I've been doing a lot of practicing on my instruments, piano, um, and guitar, which is great because I never have the time to do that. I forgot that I know how to play piano. So I've been really enjoying this time for that. How do you think music helps out during these self-isolation periods? Well, first, you know, I would say we sing a lot of Irish music and they have a saying with Celtic music that there is a song for every emotion. There is a song for every mood. And that is so true because music can express things that we don't even know how to put words to. So music, I think, can really just uplift you and it can comfort you and it can bring you that peace that it, we all need during these times. So every day, even if I'm not in a good mood, you know, I'll, I'll put it in a CD or I'll put on a Spotify playlist. And I think music has that incredible, like, transcendental ability just to really uplift you and transport you and to connect us. So definitely I've been watching a lot of, like, podcasts or different online performances that some of my colleagues have been doing and I've been trying to share that but I think that music absolutely has that amazing ability my album is available you're welcome to visit my website at heatherchristine.ca you can also get my album on Spotify it's called Love and Color and you can get that on Amazon Music uh, on Spotify on iTunes and you can find me on Instagram at Heather Christine Music or on the Facebook artist page, Heather Christine on Facebook or Twitter, I'm at Heather Griss. I'm Heather Christine, and I believe in consulting not your fears, but your hopes and your dreams. Now, let's listen to Heather Christine's first single, We Could Be Lovers.
interview with Heather Christine. I'm Angela Chow and this is Mississauga Creates. If you enjoyed that video, please subscribe below. See you next time.